Many of you on the internet are having problems sleeping, so we've teamed up with top nutritionist Nicola Whitehead to help create an amazing sleepy dish. This is our salmon and chamomile infused rice. <laughs> So what we're going to do is cook up some jasmine rice in a chamomile infused broth, grill some lettuce, make a papaya salad and some salmon. Mm -hmm. Each element couldn't be easier and each element takes little pieces of advice and tips we've been given about things that help healthy sleep. Well, okay, so together, let's see, let's see if it makes a let's difference. Let's hope the recipe doesn't put us to sleep. <laughs> Best part of it, it tastes amazing. So first things first. Jasmine rice. Yes. Okay, now jasmine rice, high GI, and it's been kind of proven that if you have something like jasmine rice over and above basmati, it'll actually put you to sleep faster. Yes, it induces sleep quicker. Yeah, also with the glycemic index. And we're going to cook it in a broth of chamomile. Now, I'm not sure there's any evidence to prove this helps, but... That is like... A well-known non-fact, isn't it? A well-known non-fact. <laughs> I think get to sleep. I think a warm drink before bed that's non-caffeinated, because yes. one thing we were told was don't have caffeine about eight hours before you go to sleep. Yeah. So a warm, non-caffeinated drink like chamomile has soothing sedative qualities. Okay. So very simple: one cup of rice going into our pan, and then two cups of cold water, and that's the ratio. And the easiest way to infuse is just to throw the tea bag in with the rice as it cooks, and with a generous pinch of salt and we're going to cook it with the lid on. So bring it up to a simmer and then simmer it away for about 10 minutes until the rice is cooked. Then switch it off but leave the lid on and just let it sit for another two and it'll be perfectly cooked rice Perfect. every time. In the meantime though, papaya. Potassium. Yes, rich in. Yeah, potassium is a muscle relaxant so uh, that will help you unwind before bed as well. You do have sleeping problems though, don't you? Yeah, I, am, I notoriously do not sleep very well. So if you've got any tips, then comment below. Let me know um, what's good. Or how can... Get Mike to sleep. Get Mike to sleep. Hashtag. Lullabies. Lullaby Mike. <laughs> lullaby, hashtag lullaby Mike. <laughs> right, this papaya salsa could not be simpler. We've got fresh papaya we've diced up. We're going to add into it the juice of a lime, if you can squeeze that, Mike. A yeah. tiny dash of rice wine vinegar, because papaya is naturally very sweet. So the vinegar and the lime juice just kind of make it a little bit more sour and tart and then some fresh greenness from raw spring onion just going in there. Is the spring onion just a flavour thing? It's a flavour thing, it's a colour thing. Um, keep it really small because you don't want too much of the mm. onion flavour and personally I prefer not to go down to the white bit because yeah. it to be stronger in flavour. So for this bit just a little bit of the green leaf. Now for the real hero of this dish, the salmon itself. So obviously an oily fish, yeah. particularly high in B6 vitamin yeah. um, which we've been told is particularly good for helping your brain to create melatonin, melatonin. which is a sleep inducing hormone. It sure is. So what we're going to do is place it into a pan with a dash of oil and cook it skin side down for a good five or six minutes so the skin is nice and crispy. Then we can turn it over and cook it just a minute on the other side. And the last element to our dish, we've got our papaya which is nice and fresh. We're also going to go with lettuce. Mm. There is an old wives tale. We call it an old wives tale. I think uh, so. A rumour. It's not vicious. It's quite <laughs> a nice rumour actually. That lettuce helps sleep as well. Why is this? There's a chemical in it that basically again has sort of sedative qualities and it's never been scientifically proven but we've heard it loads and I think the real proof point is that have you ever seen a really active rabbit? They're always kind of a bit dozy aren't they? <laughs> and all they eat is lettuce so based on that it's a little seen. bit of grilled lettuce is going to be absolutely delicious. The only thing we're going to do to it <laughs> that is the worst logic I've ever heard. Drop a little bit of sesame oil onto the lettuce <laughs> and just rub it in and then we're going to grill it on a griddle pan just to get a little bit of colour and charring on one side and the whole thing to wilt up slightly. So that goes onto our pan and there we go. Each of the elements needs another three or four minutes to mm. finish cooking and then we can plate it. Oh, you're right. Working already. <laughs> back, in your, back in five. <laughs> Now presentation is everything, but also portion size. If you're looking to sleep well, you don't want to eat too much too yeah, soon before bed. you don't want to be bed. bloated, do you? So they recommend one plate of food, rather than like three courses, and three hours before you go to bed. Yeah. So your body's got time to start digesting it before you hit the sack. And then the salmon itself. Crispy skin is important. Delicious. So you've got the high GI from the rice. Questionable lettuce, uh, whether that sends you to sleep, we don't know. High in potassium papaya, that's going to send you also to sleep. You've got your melatonin inducing salmon and the dulcet tones of Ben Eberl himself. How could that not send you to sleep? Well, regardless of all that, it's a bright, colourful, tasty dish. It's our seared salmon with chamomile infused jasmine rice. Sorted.
beautiful yeah, salmon with just flakes. And there's no limit to the amount of fish you can eat each week. It's recommended. It's just really healthy source of omega-3 and all that kind of stuff. So whether it's a dish designed like this or just a warm glass of milk and cookies, send us photos of what you eat before bed to Sorted Food. And comment them below. <laughs>